Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn how to divide rational expressions. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. Dividing rational expressions is actually very similar to something you've already done, which is multiply rational expressions. And I'm going to show you how to do that right here. So let's go through an example. Three. You'll see rational expressions uh, for division like this sometimes. 2x squared plus x minus 6 over x squared minus 1 divided by x squared minus 4 over x squared plus 2x plus 1. And the secret to simplifying these rational expressions is to smash that like button. It helps us make more videos like this. But in reality, the secret is multiplication. Division and multiplication have this relationship. They're very similar if you just adapt it. So the first step with these dividing rational functions is to turn this into a multiplication problem. So what do I mean? We have 2x squared plus x minus 6 over x squared minus 1 multiplied by, if we remember uh, in the past, right, m dividing by 2 is the same thing as multiplying by a 1 half. So if we take x and we need to multiply, or sorry, let's say multiply by 1 half to make it easier. That's the same thing as taking x and dividing by 2, right? And really that's 2 over 1. And we can see we can kind of flip them back and forth there. So what we're going to do here with our expression is flip it. Take the denominator and make it in the numerator. x squared plus 2x plus 1 and then x squared minus 4 in the denominator. Now the key here though is to make sure you actually flip it and you do this operation to make a multiplication. And now it's just like other mul multiplying rational functions that we've done. So let's go factor what we can. The numerator here ends up factoring to be 2x minus 3 times x plus 2. The denominator here factors to be x plus 1 and x minus 1. Multiplied, let's factor this numerator here. We have x plus 1 times x plus 1. And the denominator is just x plus 2 and x minus 2. All right? So now we want to see, is there anything we can cancel out? Remember, we can easily combine this by making it one big fraction. But I'm going to see if there's anything in the numerator and denominator that can cancel each other out. What do we have? Well, I see an x plus 2 here and this x plus 2. I see an x plus 1 here and this x plus 1. And nothing else actually really cancels out that I can see. I don't notice anything else. So let me transition over here to our final answer, combining what's left. 2x minus 3. And we have x plus 1. Over, down here, we have x minus 1. And we have x minus 2, and we brought everything over, and we're done. There's nothing else that we can simplify here, and it's in the most simplest form. So we've learned now how to, how to divide rational expressions. If you found this video interesting and helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That helps us uh, make more videos for viewers like you. And as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.